Chances are, unless you're living under a rock, you probably have heard about a small town in Arkansas called Bentonville. Besides being the birthplace of Walmart, this small town is making big noises by being at the forefront of the cycling boom. With so much hype around this town and its neighboring cities, we decided to make the truck over to figure out just what makes this small town so special. What makes Bentonville so special? It is the amount of trails and the upkeep of trails, for sure. Because of the diversity of the trails that we have here, uh, you can kind of have give it any flavor of riding that you want. Seems like trails are popping up every day. There's so much to do, it never gets old. They have taken this very small town and they're creating this mountain bike capital of the world is what they're calling it. They're all like super nice and like you'll, you'll like come from out of town and people will be like, you have someone like from Bentonville like say hi and you're like, you know, like some out of town is like, why is everybody so nice? The music, the museums, everything they're bringing in here and it still has enough of a small town feel. Everybody matters, right? Like it's all about what you're into and how you are into it. It's the riding, it's the community, it's for gatherings like this, the economy, it's the best place to be. You can go ride with anybody, anywhere, and everybody can have a good time. My wife is a straight up green new rider. I like to get a little wild and we can go down the same place, be in eyesight of each other, and we can both be completely happy and content. I feel like it's community. It's like everything is right together in the town. Everybody knows each other. There's group rides all the time. It's just a special place. It's such a rad place to come and ride your bike. And not only that, but it's just a cool town. It's got a cool vibe. They're very progressive into the arts. How uh, embracing everyone is. It really um, is a community of people who you know love and include everyone. I feel like um, there's so many new people here every day because they love the area. It's very diverse. You might not think that Bentonville, Arkansas would be a diverse place, but it really is. We're excited to experience what Bentonville had to offer firsthand, and after a quick search for the town's best lattes and deciding that it was a tie between the Meteor and Onyx Cafe, we then found a local who had been here for a while and has gone to see the change in the small town firsthand. Well, I moved here. <laughs> uh, I worked here some in the summer in 1966. Benville was a very, very small town, just stuck away. Uh, 2,300 people, uh, not a stoplight in sight. We had one four-way stop. Uh, and it has grown uh, so much. Uh, it's grown a lot because of Walmart. But in the area, we also have J.B. Hunt Trucking. We also have Tyson Foods. There's large industry leaders, and all of them have developed kind of in Northwest Arkansas. It, uh, it's been really, really good to see that. Uh, and there's so many vendors that service Walmart and Sam's Club that are here. And all those people have uh, chosen to have a, a small part of their business relocated here so they can service uh, Sam's at Walmart. No, I'm not one of those uh, old people. <laughs> that, <laughs> You're not old. <laughs> that uh, that uh, want to inhibit progress or not see progress for our area. I think our area has done a wonderful job of, of maintaining a balance. I think uh, ecologically, uh, we're way ahead of our time and other places that are trying to go. Uh, and uh, I, I, I love to see it. I love to see it because I have grandchildren that live here. So it's important for me for the future. Boyd wasn't wrong either. This town was way ahead of the curve, but walking around town you couldn't miss one of the key influences in this town and that was Walmart. From the neighborhood market in the middle of town to a museum dedicated to the history of Walmart, it was strange to see a small town with so much Walmart influence. Normally Walmart has been associated with driving small business out, but in Bentonville's case it almost seems like it was helping small businesses thrive. And you guys are opening a mountain bike business here. We are. What is that? It's called the Bike Inn. INN. -N. Um, we have bought an old roadside motel and we're renovating it and we're turning it into a bike centric lodging facility. I'm Bentonville MTB. Uh, I take bike photos all around Bentonville and other parts of Arkansas. Um, Full time bike photographer, uh, kind of like ski resort. Hey guys, well, this is our business. So <laughs> today we are selling popsicles, water, and Gatorade. Your bookies? Well, I'll show you a little sticker here. We do property rentals, um, we do the Airbnb for investors and guests, and we manage it all. Yeah, we have session components, we are from Brazil actually, our headquarters are in Brazil, and we have a distribution here in America, in Bentonville, and we manufacture design wheels, hubs, bars. Having a small gym that 
focuses on the individual inside of it. I think it just really helps to have the Walmart culture. And I know I keep going back to Walmart, but everybody knows each other because they're intertwined in some way through Walmart. Um, so the, the people moving in here usually have a passion for fitness and wellness. Clearly small businesses flourish here, even with such a strong presence from Walmart. But there is one small business we knew we had to visit to get the former one on what to ride. Hi, welcome to Mojo Cycling. We carry Ibis, Revel, Jameis or Bea, Marin is our newest, and Niner is our newest brands that we carry here in Bentonville. We've been around for about 11 years. Uh, we just moved into this shop about a year and a half ago, and we like to specialize in mountain biking and uh, all the pretty colors that you can trick out your bikes with. We also do rentals and a full service center as well. Awesome, and what are your favorite trails in Bentonville? Oh gosh, all of them. <laughs> Slaughter Pin and Kohler by far, but uh, also Hob State Park is beautiful. We were stoked to finally check out the local trails. Luckily enough for us, one of the Airbnbs had let us stay at their amazing studio style suite. Not only was it bike friendly, but it was also the perfect location for the trails and within two minutes we could easily be at the trails ready to ride. The first trail system we would check out was probably the most popular and that is the Slaughter Pen Trails. The zone feels like the Disneyland of the MTB world. We highly recommend spending a few days here getting the hang of things. Luckily for us, we had some awesome guides. So it is finally time to hit the trails here in Bentonville. We're gonna ride the infamous Slaughter Pen. Slaughter Pen is probably what a lot of people hear about when you hear about Bentonville. Uh, it's essentially, uh, it almost seems like the Disneyland version of trails. So excited to be out here. We're parked at Compton Gardens. This is kind of the main hub when you wanna ride the Slaughter Pen trail system. Well, how are you doing, Hannah? I'm doing good and I'm not the tour guide today. I have no <laughs> idea where we are or what we're riding and I'm just gonna trust these guys. Yeah. I'm Bentonville MTB. Uh, I take bike photos all around Bentonville and other parts of Arkansas. Uh, we're gonna ride phase one, phase two, and phase three of Slaughter Pen and probably venture off into some uh, other trails off to the side of it. Here's our second tour guide. You might be a little younger than Jason though. <laughs> Just a little bit. Well, what, what was your name? Uh, my name's Marshall. Marshall. I'm MD Moose on Instagram. <laughs> we'll plug the Instagram right here. Go give them a follow. Uh, and I do anything in all mountain biking. All right, we literally, you can see our van from right there. Uh, straight from the parking lot <laughs> to a little mini jump line. This place is awesome. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this whole trail is made out of perfectly placed rocks. This is insane. This is what $73 million gets you. I headed to Boo Boo and Choo Choo. <laughs> one of them is the climb, one of them is the descents, <laughs> and none of them are a uh, train. <laughs> All right, so I'm following Marshall down Choo Choo, but I'm gonna get dropped. Oh my God, how do you do that? <laughs> so this is a really cool flow trail that's paved. So, oh man, these corners are so good. Woo. Nice, Marshall. Well, that kid is really good. I'm getting dropped as you guys can see, <laughs> but we're still having fun. Oh, these corners are so sick. Woo. Oh, such a good section. Nice. Boom. I don't know what this trail is called. First drop. Woo. So I'm told there's three drops. The first, or I'm told there's three gaps. The first two are decent and I can probably do. The last one, I won't be able to do, I don't think. We'll see. This is definitely one of those trails you wanna do a couple times. The first time you're kind of just seeing everything. The second time I feel like it'd be a lot more fun because you know what's ahead. Whoa. Oh yeah. That is cool. Oh, I missed that. That was like the best one. Yeah. That was fun. That was I have no idea what this trail is called. Phew. Oh, big jump. Wow. Phew. Oh, here we go. Rollers. These are my favorite. You can kind of pump them. Get a little more speed. All right, so we actually cheated and rode this trail yesterday. This is actually where we met Bentonville MTV. Um, 
he was posted up here taking photos and he got some pretty cool photos of us actually. It kind of looked like we knew what we were doing. Continues over here. Phew! I think I almost made that one. For me it's a game of how many I can make. Not how old good it looks. After checking out the slaughter pen trails, we headed to another popular zone in the area, Kohler. This side of Bentonville is a bit more techy with a really awesome dual solemn racetrack, a private coffee shop accessible only by bikes, and a huge metal structure to connect a lot of trails. All right, so we're headed to the top of the Thunderdome, and this is the dual slalom course, so we're gonna have some racing underway. <laughs> She's got the start. Oh my. Oh my. Who's gonna win? We're very competitive, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> ah! Woo! No! Ah! 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 <laughs> what was it? He almost took you out. Ah! <laughs> but who won? What? No way! <laughs> First trail from the hub. And we're gonna ride a trail called Fireline. Nice! So this is like a small little warm-up jump line for the rest of the trails. The perfect size for us. Woo! Nice! Oh, yes! Oh wow, I guess you could just kind of get off here and go loop it. It's a dropping in, rock solid. Starts off with a little drop and then a little jump. Nice. Nice and technical. There is a lot of rocks on this trail, as you guys can guess by the name. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh man. Whoo. Feels good to ride some chunk. Oh man. Oh. Whoever says most of Bentonville is just groomed trails hasn't ridden rock solid. <laughs> this little awkward section, nice and clean. Good job, Hannah. Oh man, <laughs> so many rocks. They're everywhere, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Woo. Oh, that was awesome. Sweet. It's over though. Yeah. The trails blew us away and we were starting to understand that when you pair those with amazing people you get a really awesome town. And luckily for us we were about to get both with the Bentonville Bike Festival. The Bentonville Bike Festival is a huge festival filled with racing, vendors, concerts, food, and stoke. It was almost like someone rolled up all the best things of Bentonville into one and we were excited to make it. So it is basically one three day event that includes um, family fun activities, vendors, races. It's just a big, like everyone's here, and it's just really fun seeing everyone riding and having fun. Everybody's kind of just hanging out and doing some heckling and doing some racing and just having a good time. Like living here, like everything coming into town, things getting so big, like, the, like all the bike companies show up. So I was walking around the Ida Creek and the Jameis guys were just like, yeah, let me throw that in the stand and just did, redid all my bushings, greased everything. Like, it's just cool to see like the town get a bunch of people. It's just a good time, you know, riding beers and drinking bikes. All types of cycling. I mean, you know, mountain biking, we've got trials, cycling. The Striders here with the kids, if you haven't seen the Striders. I'm Kenny Belay from Belgium, and I'm the founder of the Bentonville Bike Festival. And yeah, the Bike Fest is all about celebrating 100% Bentonville. We got bikes, we got shows, we got entertainment, we got, yesterday we had planes flying over, uh, vendors, it's it's an awesome time. It's really cool. It's it's way bigger than I expected. So why did you put this on? Um, I like creating, I like events, I like to, I know, I like to build something, to do something, I like to be proactive and I thought that uh, when I had the idea to do an event here, uh, that was even before there were events here and we talked about it for so long and it started with a women event and then it was like, hey, why wouldn't we do it for everybody? And now it's a, a bike fest for everybody. Bentonville blew us away and it became more clear what this place was. With amazing people, awesome trails, lots of funding, and a strong community, this place really is the future of mountain bike towns. And this was just Bentonville. There are so many cities around it that are just as awesome. And we can truly say Arkansas is leading the way for the future of mountain bike cities.
Until next time, you guys, ride awesome. Phew. What's one thing you want people to know about Bentonville? We're open for business 24-7. <laughs> <laughs>